In this demo, you will see how NextLab's EDRM extends your Team Center data security model to persistently protect and control your sensitive data outside of Team Center. In global engineering design programs, IP is often distributed across design and engineering centers, where international employees access and handle sensitive data outside of Team Center. In this case, an organization needs to ensure secure internal collaboration across geographical lines. Let's consider the example of Project PR01, in which a U.S. design engineer wants to share a drawing with the India design team for input and modifications. With NextLab's EDRM for Team Center, the first step is to apply rights protection to the file. During this process, NextLab's EDRM will leverage Team Center's data access model. The classifications defined for business objects in Team Center will be automatically embedded into the NextLab's file. That way, after the drawing is protected, the file can be downloaded outside Team Center and shared with the same access controls as in the Team Center access model. Our U.S. design engineer logs in and locates the files she wants to share. In this case, we will protect a CAD file. Its business object classification is project name PR01 and IP status proprietary. Checking the properties on the file reveals it is currently in PRT format. She right-clicks to access the NextLab's context menu and selects Protect. A dialog displays, informing her that the file is instantly protected. Checking the properties on the file now reveals the file is in NextLab's format with an NXL extension. This indicates that, behind the scenes, the file has been encrypted and the classification associated with the business object has been embedded in the header of the NextLab's file. Encryption will persist with a file no matter where it goes, and the file's classification can be referenced to determine how the file should be accessed and handled outside of Team Center. To quickly view the file securely while working inside Team Center, an authorized user can select Secure View in the NextLab context menu. When viewing files in the secure view, authorized engineers can enjoy reach features of NX, including exploding assemblies into parts, showcasing different views, and viewing different areas in the design and their corresponding measurements. Or, if authorized users want to view the file in its native application, they simply double-click the file. These seamless user experiences give you the best of both worlds, security on your most sensitive and valuable intellectual property, and uninterrupted workflows. NextLab's EDRM is file type and application agnostic. That means that the same protection and access control can be applied across any technical data, not just a 3D CAD drawing shown here, but also source code, images, and business data, including Office and PDF files. Let's say our U.S. design engineer is ready to share her file and downloads it to her local device, where she checks the properties of the downloaded file and she sees the permissions she has on the file. These permissions are determined dynamically based on the attributes of users, files, and context. Our engineer can also view the classifications that have been embedded in the downloaded file from the Team Center access model. Over in the India Design Center, our authorized PR01 project team member arrives to work and logs in to his workstation. He starts his day by accessing shared design engineering files. Our authorized Indian engineer right-clicks on the file to locate the NextLab's context menu and checks permissions on the files. In this case, he sees that for this PRT file, overseas design engineers that are members of project PR01 are allowed to view and edit, but not perform other actions such as print or send. He opens the NXL file in a CAD application and makes a few changes. As our engineer continues to make modifications, he is allowed or denied each action based on the dynamic rights evaluation provided by NextLab's EDRM. The PRT file remains in NextLab's format after our overseas design engineer modifies and saves it. Next, our authorized overseas PR01 engineer checks permissions on a different file, a product requirement specification. He sees that he only has view permissions on the file. 
In this case, a corporate policy is that specification files may be viewed but not modified by overseas design engineers. When our engineer opens the file in its native application, security labels automatically display. The text in the overlay is dynamically generated and can be configured to include any information relevant to your business process. When our PR01 overseas engineer attempts to modify the file by typing, he receives an alert that he is not authorized to edit the file. Now let's consider the case of an unauthorized overseas engineer who is not a member of Project PR01. He arrives at work and logs in. He attempts to access a PR01 file. He is denied. Most importantly, protection will be applied to these files consistently no matter what container a document is stored in. If users copied and pasted files to their desktops, sent them via email, copied them to USB, and attempted to access on another device, or uploaded them to a file share, the same protection would apply. Securing internal collaboration is one thing but often design engineering teams must provide secure external collaboration for IP shared with partners and suppliers. External collaboration is particularly tricky because partners and suppliers are outside an organization's network perimeter on unmanaged devices. You have no control over what is installed on their endpoints. NextLab's EDRM is designed to protect sensitive intellectual property shared outside the network perimeter with zero client install. Let's say our engineering manager is ready to enter the manufacturing phase and needs to share a drawing he has been working on with external suppliers. He exports the PRT to JT format and plans to apply NextLab's protection to the file before it is uploaded to the cloud for sharing. NextLab's EDRM can be configured to automatically sync with locations where protected files are stored in the cloud, so shared files will be viewable only by authorized users. In fact, NextLab's EDRM can connect with several content repositories at once. First, we will protect the file using a Team Center workflow. NextLab's EDRM can be integrated with Team Center process templates, so protection can be applied automatically as part of an existing process. You simply open the existing process template in Workflow Designer. Locate the NextLab's action handler that is included in your implementation of NextLab's EDRM and add it to the workflow. The design engineer kicks off the secure sign-off workflow and routes the document to Project PR01 Engineering Manager. When the manager logs into Team Center, he finds the sign-off request in his work list and can review the file. He approves the document and instantly the file is protected. Examining the file properties reveals the file extension has changed to NXL. Once data is in the cloud, NextLab's EDRM provides secure access on any device. For instance, using a mobile device, an authorized user can open her browser, access the secure login, supply her credentials, locate a file, and view it. The viewer supports the visualization capabilities of Siemens NX. The view also supports all other formats, so authorized users can view drawing files as well as any other file format, like the Word document here. Notice that the security labels that were applied when the file was protected display in the secure viewer on her mobile device. It might be the case that engineers need to share files with external users not just as part of a formal workflow or process, but in ad hoc fashion. Let's consider how NextLab's EDRM supports this requirement. Let's say we have a NextLab's rights protected file downloaded outside of Team Center that we need to share with an external supplier. You simply attach the file to an email and send it to the external authorized user. This user can save the file locally and upload the file to NextLab's EDRM. We uploaded the file and viewed it securely. You don't have to worry about misdirected emails or the NextLab's file getting lost or stolen. If the file falls into the hands of an unauthorized user, the user will be unable to open the file. 
Another common use case in which NextLab's EDRM can be applied is for expiring access to files after a certain period of time. For example, at the end of a contract bidding phase, NextLab's EDRM can automatically detect when an expiration date occurs and deny access. A final requirement that global design engineering teams need to address is achieving visibility into how sensitive intellectual property is being accessed, shared, and used. NextLab's EDRM provides granular reporting capability that allows organizations to monitor and audit the access and usage of their sensitive data across all systems, applications, and devices. NextLab's EDRM provides Reporter, a browser-based tool that can be accessed from any workstation. The dashboard provides a snapshot of events, top 10 allowed policies, allowed users, and most accessed resources. The dashboard also includes custom-defined alerts. These are events you flag to keep track of how your IP is being handled. You can also create custom reports. In this example, we are creating a report for every time a user is denied access to a PR01 file. When the report displays, it's in an easy-to-read graphic format that allows you to get an overview. These graphics are interactive, so you can select an area and drill down into event details, including who was denied, what was the resource, file location, which application was used, the device, and contextual information such as time of day. NextLab's EDRM for Team Center. Extend your Team Center access model to protect your sensitive data no matter where it goes. Visit us at nextlabs.com to learn more.